Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about all the products that I'm trying to finish off in 2023. We're already three months in so it is time to talk about it again. I've got my notes right here so I will definitely not forget anything. Let's take a look at all of it. First, powders. The only powder that I had in my collection at the moment that I initially filmed this was this Charlotte Tilbury powder. So that was the only one that I tried to finish off this year. And this is where we are right now. Definitely think it's gonna be finished by the end of the year, possibly even by next quarter. It's gonna be really close by next quarter either way. So yeah, that's good. And I already have a new powder because there was one in an advanced calendar that I unpacked in December, but I filmed this video right before. Also, I don't know how quickly I'm gonna go through that. So that might be a 2024 thing that I wanna finish. Let's see. Then we have our highlighter. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Trio in Blonde Harmony. I'm making progress on it. It is moving. Pretty much all of the blush is gone except for this little part and I'm right now using it with kind of a smaller brush targeted just here on the highlight piece and then hopefully once we get into like summer time a little bit more sunshine because we definitely don't have a lot of sunshine at the moment yet i will be able to like move more into this part and see if i can actually use it as some sort of a bronzer blush topper whatever it's gonna be but yeah that's that one it's moving slowly but it is moving then i have my nyx pigment in yellow gold and i was not expecting a whole lot from this one because i've tried so many times but it's in a palette right now it's in the panner span in a palette in a project right now the panner span project and i have been using it i've been able to make some new marks on it i recently did an update so i will try and put in a close-up so you guys can actually see where i'm at i'm using it quite regularly actually probably about like 10 ish times a month at the moment so very happy about that and I do feel like I should be able to finish this one off this year. I'm guessing not by next quarter but maybe by the third quarter of the year. That would be pretty nice already in my opinion. Then quads, trios. I'm working on these two. Um, this one you guys haven't seen in a little bit because it's not in a project right now. It's my Lancome quad and I'm working on the black shade. Right now I'm kind of focusing on the middle right here and you can see a little dent starting to form. Definitely very much over halfway on this one, but probably going to take me until the end of the year to finish all of this off. But let's see how we will do. I'm hoping to roll this into some sort of a project soon, but I don't really have anything specific that I'm thinking about yet. Kind of hoping for a prompt in a deck of panning project that I can slot that one in nicely, but let's see. And then we've got my Bourgeois Trio. I do have pan. I don't think I had pan yet when I um, showed this to you guys in December, so that's good. A little bit of side pan even, but definitely still have a ways to go on this one. I was hoping this one would be done by the middle of the year. I am not that confident anymore that that's actually gonna happen, but let's see. Moving on to my bigger palettes I wanted to say. This is a quad as well, I put that in the wrong place, but because it's in my panda palette, I'm thinking about this as a palette instead of a quad. Anyway, let's talk about that one first since I'm already holding it up. This is Catrice the Seasons Must Have. I was not talking about this yet last time because I did not do my panda palette intro yet, but I am working on this one as well, hoping to finish it off. Um, let me open it up a little bit more because I did just fill my panda palette as well, so you guys could have seen that already, so then this is the spoiler. Uh, I've made some really nice progress on this shade right here. I had a bit of pan on it, but definitely think that that one will be gone in the next like four or five months or so. I hit pan in this one and I've expanded the pan a little bit on those other two. So it's moving slowly but surely. And of course we've got my Amuse palette. Uh, this one is moving. I believe when I showed this to you guys in December, I still had the green shade left, which is now completely gone. I'm starting to make some progress on these other three shades as well. I'm using the, the blue and the red a good bit more uh, since like last time I showed this to you guys. Still have a good way to go, especially on that gray shade, but I also think that blue and red are they're not the easiest shades to work with. Like, I love warm shades, but this red is almost like a true red on my lids with a little bit of a pinkish 
you to it. So yeah, it's intense and I need to always kind of kind of figure out how to combine it with different things to make sure it's not just red on my lids. And uh, the blush, still no pen. I have used it almost 190 times at the moment, still no pen. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it. <laughs> we'll see where we will end up. Then let's see, I finished off a product, my eye primer, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I've already thrown away. Um, I already got a new one, but I'm very disappointed because they repack. wait, let me grab it. They repackaged it and this is what the new packaging has. It's huge. It's ridiculously big. Uh, how much is in here? It's six mils of product. It, the packaging should not have to be this big for six mils of product. I think there might have even been more in the tube that they had before. But also I prefer a tube because I can get way more out of that. This The packaging is so thick that I won't be able to get to a lot of it probably once I... I'm done with it. I don't even know if there is any type of a stopper that I can take out. It looks pretty like hard plastic. So very unhappy with that replacement. I bought it because I wanted to try it out and see how I felt about it. It still does its job, but I don't want this packaging. Like if I go travel somewhere, I have to bring this whole big thing. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I guess they didn't make it for travel purposes, but still, it's it's way bigger than it has to be. I don't want a dog food, I want a chubby situation. So, anyway, <laughs> rant over, back to the order of the day. Uh, my mascaras, I did finish up, roll out my first mascara of the year, because I do roll them out after three months of use. And I still have the one left. I do have two other mascaras now, but they weren't on this list. I might add them because I will have them finished off by the end of the year, but I kind of like sticking with what I started with and just see how things go. It also kind of shows me like, okay, at least I worked through everything that was here at the start of the year. So yeah, there's only one more that I'm hoping to finish off and that will be done in like three months from now. And then I can work on those other two mascaras that rolled in. I got one as a gift and one in a fan calendar. So all good. Then turn page lipsticks i am i wanted to say working on i'm trying to finish off five lipsticks this year and i'm doing okay um let's see i'm trying to hold all five of them that's not gonna work so let's put these two to the side um i was really really hoping and assuming basically that this one would be done by now this is the mac nikki viva glam and well, you're basically looking at only the plastic, but it's still sticking out the tiniest bit. And since I'm using this as a cream blush, I'm currently like just dipping my finger in it, patting it, spreading it, and I can still use it. So I'm still going to be using it probably like only one or two more weeks and then it will be low enough for me to say like, okay, it's done. I'm just scraping plastic even with my finger now, but it's still working. So we're still uh, using it. I can't call it finished just yet. Then, what am I thinking? I'm missing one, no? Oh no. I'm working on a lipstick that's not in here because I didn't have the lipstick yet when, and I'm confused because I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I've, all the, I've almost gone through a lipstick, but that's not on this list. Great. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the Yves Saint Laurent lipstick is one that I am currently working on. It's in my The Panner Spam project. I've used up, uh, I'd say maybe about a quarter of it since last time I showed you guys this. I'm definitely expecting to use this a lot come summertime, so I'm hoping that maybe even by next quarter this could be done. Let's see, that might be a bit too much to ask since I'm also focusing on another lipstick, but we'll see. This one I have used once or twice, I think, over the last month. It's very bright and I know I've used this a lot before already, but for some reason I'm just not feeling this at the moment, which is fine. It's not in a project right now. Maybe summertime I will feel like wearing this one a little bit more. But yeah, it's still pretty much in the same place as last time. And there isn't loads of product in here, so that's good anyway. It's not rolling back. Always nice. Um, 
I've had that problem before with this one. I need to figure it out. Anyway, I'm gonna carefully put it down and hope nothing happens to it. Uh, two more lipsticks that I wanted to talk about. This one is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Lipstick in 303. I have used this also probably once or twice just to test it a little bit, but have not used it loads yet. I'm guessing I should be able to finish this one off, although it is long lasting, so that will make like the trickiest part probably because I won't have to reapply it a lot. And then there is of course the lip balm side as well, but since they're being used together I have no <laughs> worries about using up that one. Lip balms always always go faster for me anyway. And then this one, the Max Factor lipstick in Icy Rose. I have not yet touched this one because this is the one that I want to use as a cream blush once I've finished off the Nikki lipstick from MAC and I haven't done that yet. So I will be using that very, very soon though, as you could see on that Nikki lipstick. Almost there. Then lip glosses. I've rolled in two right here and this one I'm focusing on at the moment, wearing it right now on top of that other lipstick that I'm working on, which is not in this project. I uh, This is the MAC lip gloss in I don't know what, Lip Chalet even. And I don't know if you guys can see, I haven't had a need to mark it because it hasn't been in a project, but since last time I've shown this to you guys, I pretty much went from here to here. So I finished off about half of what was left in here. So hopefully in a quarter from now, I will be able to show you guys an empty packaging. I'm guessing it's it might take like at least one month longer because it's a chewy thing and they always surprise you, but let's see. And then we have the Ila lip gloss as well. This one I rolled, Ilia even. Um, this one I rolled in, it's new to my collection as well, but I thought the size of this in comparison to like the two, three other lip gloss that I still have left in my collection, which are definitely bigger than this one, I thought it could be nice to try and finish off at least one more that wasn't huge. It's only 4.3 mils, which is 0.14 fluent thousand. So that's that's not a lot. So I'm hoping that once I finish off the MAC lip gloss, I can still finish this one off by the end of the year as well. But I've only used this one a couple of times as well, because the MAC one is my main focus at the moment. Then we've got lip balms. Here, stuff is rolling away. Here, uh, some exciting news as well. This guy right here is empty. I had squeezed it in all directions and there really isn't anything coming out anymore. Um, so one finished off. I still hadn't thrown it away so I can still show it to you guys, I guess. And since then I've started working on this random lip balm that I got at an event somewhere. And I think I finished out probably about half of what was in here as well. So my guess is that by next quarter, this one will be done as well, which will mean that I finished off all the like official lip balms in my collection. Um, but then for some reason I've added this to my tinted lip balms. I don't know why it's more of a gloss. Uh, I have my Catrice Lip Polish and Strawberry Secret here as well. At least I think that's what it is. And there isn't loads in here. As you can see, you can kind of already see through the bottom right here um it is kind of a stainy situation so it probably won't go completely like quickly but i do have faith that i should be able to finish this off as well in maybe quarter three we'll see uh blushes yeah, i already talked about this one this is the main blush that i want to finish off but it's part of my kind of palette so i already spoke about that when i showed the palette concealer only concealer in my collection at the moment is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in NW24. It's in a project right now and last time I updated I was right here. Two more months is my guess and this one will be done so this will probably be done by next quarter as well. It's nice that I'm able to say that there is a fair bit of these actually going to be done by next quarter as well even though there's plenty that will not be done yet but I need to go and buy a new one. Might be this one, might be something else I want to try. Give me your recommendations for nicely hydrating uh, concealers. I want them to be a bit hydrating. They don't have to be extreme uh, amazing coverage, but yeah, this is 
<laughs> that one. And then lastly, it rolled away, so I'm just gonna <laughs> grab it from the other side. This is the uh, Smoky Eye, what, Master Smoky Shadow Pencil from Maybelline in Smoky Black. And I did just sharpen it, and it's it's getting smaller. There still is loads of product left in here, but I feel like it doesn't look like a big pencil anymore. It now starts to look like a smaller pencil. It's probably still gonna take me at least a whole year, if not more, to finish off. But making progress on it, it's not a project or anything, but I am using this on a pretty much daily basis either way. And uh, yeah, that's that one. So that's everything that I was working on. Uh, 23 products in total and at the moment I finished off three the eye primer um, a lip balm this one and one mascara so that's something at least uh, like I already said what I think is going to be definitely gone by next time is this lipstick um, the other mascara because I will roll that out after three months anyway pretty sure I will be able to finish this guy off as well um, concealer two and what else was I thinking possibly this one but I have a feeling it's gonna be close but not all the way there for all the other ones my guess is that they're still gonna be around but hopefully I will have some nice progress to show on them either way oh maybe the powder maybe this one will be done as well we'll see so I've got a good few candidates so that's good to see um, and yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.